Welcome to another optimized SEO and websites video. And this video is very important. If your Google My Business has been hijacked and you are noticing if you click the website link on your Google My Business, you end up on a spam pharmacy site. I have an example uh, pharmacy site pulled up here to some online pharmacy. This is not the spam site. I could not identify. I didn't think to note this down when I resolved this for a client. But what was happening is if you clicked on the website link from Google, uh, their search panel or the map pack or anything like that, or even a link right here, their search results going to their website, it was being redirected to that online pharmacy site. Um, so much so that it was pulling in the page title and meta description for that online pharmacy site showing, you know, buy Cialis now and all this Viagra, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it was really bad. They even had structured data links to other pages on the phony site and all this kind of stuff. So it was a pretty um, basic attack and it was easily resolved, but my clients were freaking out and you know i'd never seen anything about it but i have seen uh posts in my google feed regarding this so i know it is happening to other clients other website owners all this kind of stuff so i want to make a video and show you how quick and easy this is to resolve so you don't end up paying some malware or this that the other security firm um you know hundreds of dollars to resolve this when it could literally take you a couple minutes and you'll be done and back to normal change your passwords you'll be good to go so well what was happening is exactly what i was saying if you clicked here you'd end up on that pharmacy site this was all um altered to reflect the structure or the metadata from that pharmacy site so it was really really bad and what i ended up realizing happened was there had been an addition to the HT access file. So this is what was in my client's HT access file when I hopped on to see what was going on, right? And I noticed this right off the bat stuck out like I did not add this to this file. What is going on here? And if we see here, we see Google, we see Yahoo, we see MSN, we see AOL and Bing. Then we have them again down here. And here's my client's website. And like I said, it, it doesn't let you know where it's gonna be re redirected to, but it was certainly redirecting um, any link from Google, Yahoo, MSN, ALL, or Bing, any of these websites. If, if someone was on that website and clicked through to my client, Chardine, Chardine.com, then they ended up on that online pharmacy site. So obviously this is terrible for your business. Um, Honestly, it was this easy to get rid of it. I deleted that out of the HT access file and click save, boom, fixed. So that's kind of what I wanna show you how to do and why this happened to this website so you can know that too. So if we come to the homepage of their WordPress, you'll see this PHP update required. So they are running a very dated version of PHP we don't host this client's website and I brought this up to them years ago that this is uh, leaving them liable to be hacked and it finally happened years later. So I knew it was just a matter of time and it happened. Um, so if we go to tools and go to um, site health here, we will see that they are running a very outdated version of PHP. Like I said, we don't host this website. It is very, very slow on the back end. So they are still running 5.6.27 on PHP and you know, four or 7.4 is available. I believe most of our sites are running on 7.2 at the moment, but um, you need to get up in PHP uh, level seven, uh, preferably 0.2 or higher. And this is exactly why this was able to happen so easily and stuff like that. So um, it was actually a very easy fix for me. I have the Yoast plugin installed. I went to tools then you come to file editor right here and you will see the HT access file where I have removed that, um, 
Well, I already removed it from here, but remember we had that Google Bing, blah, 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 redirect was in here. I just simply deleted it out. While I was in here, I you know set some caching parameters and stuff like this, which I don't know had been deleted out somehow, but then I just hit uh, save changes to your HD access file. And that literally instantly resolved the click from going to the spam pharmacy site to my client site. So I, I saved the HT access file right here, removed the code, the mal malicious code, click save, went back to Google, refreshed this page, clicked on the link, and we ended up on their site as expected. But this was still pulling in the wrong metadata. So I went ahead and checked the pages um, meta description and page title and notice that they were all set as they should um, to reflect what we did want for this client right here so that told me that all that needed to happen for this to resolve was a matter of time for the search engines to come back crawl get the accurate data and update the results right here so that's exactly what happened if you do not have Yoast installed I believe rank math allows for you to edit your HT access. I'm not familiar with all-in-one SEO. So if you're on WordPress, that's how you go about it. If you're not on WordPress, you would get into your file manager, find your HT access file and edit it there, and you would resolve this issue. So if your Google My Business website link has been hijacked or any link from Google or Bing or any of those other websites I mentioned, MSN, Yahoo, uh, whatever the other one was, if that's redirecting to a spam pharmacy site, you need to check your HD access file and delete that malicious code, and it'll be instantly resolved as far as the click not going to the right place, but it'll take a little bit of time for the metadata to reflect what should be shown. And in our case, it took about two to three days, somewhere in that range, I checked, boom, it was back on like expected send an email to the client saying, hey, it has been re resolved as expected. So I really hope that saves you a lot of time, energy, and potentially money um, paying one of these, uh, you know, malware, blah, blah, blah. I'm not a fan of these websites and services. So I think you just keep all of your stuff up to date, um, change your passwords often, um, all that kind of stuff, and you'll be good to go. So uh, over on over and beyond what I just already showed you I did, I went ahead, there's only two users on this website, and I, um, re I changed the password for each. So if that's how they logged in to access the HT access file, they couldn't do that anymore. But to me, knowing what I know about um, how hackers work and how outdated versions of software works, the outdated PHP version was the culprit of this. So. Hope you found value in it. Until the next video, keep making money.